hi welcome to data on my view in this video i'm going to talk about css templates so where we can see css templates in web intelligence how we can make use of css templates to fast our uh, report developing process so take this example i have a report i don't have any formatting here just a simple table of figure with the different uh, columns on it so if i want to format this if i want to hand over this report to the end user then I have to format header footer and logo on it and uh, report the heading and uh, maybe we will we'll be having a watermark page number and uh, who ran the report so we have to have all these options then only we can hand over these reports to the end user right so how we can do that uh, we have to go to the header and we need to choose uh, uh, different colors for the header and again we need to go back to the footer and we need to uh, have a different color so once we colors are enabled if uh, that particular end user or uh, Uh, company uh, expecting this table of uh, figures uh, colors will be on a different uh, then we need to go to each cell and we need to change the color all right so we have to do everything manually so if it is the first report uh, if you are creating a template building a template then that is fine so if you are creating a second report are you going to uh, do the same thing again and again on the all other reports as you know you don't have uh, any template in web intelligence so instead we have a css template so css template is going to speak about these formattings colors font style font type uh, page properties so those css pro style sheets uh, will talk about these things so we can easily automate the process once we created a template or once we define the colors and the formats you can export the template and you can make use of the template for all other reports all right so easily you can modify the uh, values on css template and that will be reflected on this report so i'm going to show how to uh, see the template and how to export the template so if you are in a web intelligence document uh, you should be on a rich client and go to properties and go to document so on the document you can see change default style so click this option and go to uh, the section import and export so under import and export uh, we are going to export a style export this and this is going to be stored as a css right all right so once i exported and i can view that css file in a notepad or any uh, editor so i can see what are the default options which is available on this uh, default css uh, file so these are the properties are affected on this uh, web intelligence all right so you can do the changes on the css value and you can import it here all right so i have done few changes just a light stain changes uh, i'll show that and how this is existing uh, format is going to change so once i imported it is going to replace the existing css uh, formatting so like this so it has changed the uh, background color of the report so i have just modified only one property here so that has reflected here so if i want to get back to the uh, old state or uh, previous format then i can go to change default style and i can click this recent reset uh, standard default uh, style so if i click this it is going to get back the uh, previous uh, css file which is available on the installation folder so once i click that it's going back to the uh, default uh, or previous state so this is for document level so whenever you click a new document here it has to come up with a new template then you need to update this CS css file and you need to replace this css file on the installation folder so where you installed business intelligence uh, application 
so you have to go to that location and you need to check for the uh, default css and you need to replace this uh, with modified css so if you do that whenever you click a new button it is going to come up with the predefined uh, customized templates so now if you click it is going to show with a uh, empty header uh, color i mean a uh, white color header and footer and inside nothing and when you drag a draw uh, drag a table here it is come up with the same uh, these colors so like this if you want to customize you can customize and you can uh, uh, replace the file in the installation folder all right thank you